This is the second wave of investment. The assistant administrator for the Federal Aviation Authority talking about the $3.2 billion airport investment plan for this year. These airport investments will improve the safety of the airfield in addition to make it easier for travelers, both business travelers and tourists alike, to come and go from Charleston's airports. The Charleston International Airport and the Charleston Air Force Base are being given a $12.2 million grant to be used for improving the airport access roads. They are just two airports out of 327 airports nationwide that were given grants today. A total of $495 million in funding being dispersed. Investing in airports all over the country helps support investment in tourism and also the local businesses. Uh, in evaluating the application, the uh, airport's office was able to identify how these important improvements will help uh, the economic areas around the airport. Paul Campbell, the executive director and CEO for the Charleston International Airport, has responded to the grant from the FAA, saying in part that they are appreciative of the funding and that it's critical to invest in infrastructure and the operational needs as the airport continues to see growth. The local airport sponsor and the local FAA office will con uh, collaborate on getting these dollars to the airport and getting the construction projects done as quickly as possible. The Charleston Executive Airport and the Mount Pleasant Regional Airport also received grants today from the FAA to be used for improvements. I'm reporting at the Charleston International Airport. Taylor Murray, Count On Two.